I heard he has a new schedule in his manga process, like it's similar to Oda, and if it's true, it's for the best. Make no mistake, this chapter is all about Deku and the boys along with Endeavor. The chapter's cover could just be a small peek at the other students, or maybe used as storytelling for elsewhere, like how One Piece or Kimetsu no Yaiba utilize it. Or maybe it is drawn for some sort of pleasure. You could imagine my interest die out. Nevertheless, the internship has begun, and the students have lots more to work on. It doesn't mean, however, they have to advance all at once. The chapter opens up with Deku reciting his progress since the beginning, and by then, I mean chapter 2 beginning. The impression gives that series closure vibe, even if it's really not ending. On the other hand, it has a knack to recite or recap the progression to remind the fans how far Deku has come. It's like this series version of Naruto's flashback without the visual, rather with words. The anime does recap with every first episode of a season, so I suppose it's traditional. Joking aside, the idea is Deku wants to attain all six hidden quirks to end the series, but that won't be easy as the chapter's title implied. The hidden runner is apprehended, but not by the students. As said in the last chapter, Endeavor wants the students to capture the criminal before he does. In short, no pass for them. Bakugo has an arrogant attitude going, to the point he called the flame quirk used as a ripoff of his explosion. I did chuckle at his petty behavior by claiming to understand how Endeavor stopped the criminal. His pride is so strong. Shoto explained how Endeavor boosted and utilized his quirk that doesn't necessarily use only for offense, such as jet burn. It amazes him, knowing that he inherited the same quirk so he understands the capabilities and skills aren't taken so lightly. This gives him few lessons to improve his strength, both power and usage. Endeavor is clearly a step above them, with not only stopping a criminal faster, but springboard to the next trouble. This teaches them that they must be ready to go at it all by themselves. Don't stop at one trouble, keep going and going. While that's important, it's almost as if the series is ready to go all solo mode for the cast, but that's just me. Kinda funny for Endeavor to point out his awareness on the previous battle with the glass villain subordinates, but he has to make a point. Shoto is learning the variety of his flame quirk by watching his father's performance. As for Bakugo, he's getting called out on his excuses for every time he's being criticized. The best way to approach an arrogant boy is to call out his BS. Simple as that. His excuse is needed more time in winter, yet Endeavor tells him that's not good. Like grown adults teaching to children, it's a lesson to understand the value of time. The time of school play isn't warranted here in real society. A loss is much more severe than simply losing a grade point. After saving a life from a car crash, which seems like the city is in danger 24-7, Endeavor assigned Bakugo and Shoto to work on their power, one by one. Shoto is halfway to master the flash fire. The problem is, he's jumping ahead in certain areas. The same can be said for Bakugo, in which Deku points out the helpfulness for his AP shot. I know he's trying to be friendly, but Bakugo just won't have it. The key is to store energy and focus on a single point to release a stronger output. It makes sense to me since they have been releasing a powerful attack, killing their stamina and speed quicker. As for Deku, he has to learn the Air Force aspect first and foremost subconsciously, forgetting the secondary part of the quirk as he calls it. This breaks off the idea of learning all six quirks at a rapid pace and is for the best. I like the analogy of a driver. I can relate to it since I am one. It's true that driving can be somewhat complicated than simply driving and braking. It's no racing game unless you have the need for speed. It takes experiences. I remember how I thought I won't be able to drive with so much learning curve. Perhaps pun intended. The bottom line is, Deku needs to take the training one step at a time. 
like trying to lift weights over your maximum capacity, you won't able to master them flawlessly. Unlike All Might, who is great exception, everyone has to take the long road. It's a hassle, but it's rewarding when you reach to the checkpoint. It's cool with Endeavor for them to fail many times, as long as they make progress and soon master their skills. Once again, I believe the incoming big war won't be the end of the series if the route remains this way with Deku, only mastering or rather make the use of Black Whip as his next arsenal. Unless Kohi decides to have all 6 quirks pop out of nowhere in a day, I don't see it ending anytime soon. I'm fine with it, so long the series continues to be intriguing. Speaking of intriguing, the cliffhanger suggests Todoroki family reunion with guests Bakugo and Deku for dinner. It's been a while since we last seen the family status. It's definitely a lot better than first introduction. I doubt dinner will be awkward unless Natsu still holds a grudge. Then again, Bakugo is going as well, so there's that. Overall, this was a fine chapter. I mostly summarized the chapter with low input of my thoughts. It focused on training aspect, so it's expected to only comment on the progression to be done. That being said, Endeavor is a good teacher. The idea of moving slowly is true in many circumstances. I enjoyed the step-by-step -step lessons from him. The cliffhanger left me intrigued to see how the family is doing, with Shoto's friends in the mix. It's on break, however, so the reunion will have to wait. And that will do it for the review. I hope you enjoyed this one. From what I heard, Kohi has a new schedule, and if the break is due to the fact that he has a new schedule, similar to Oda, then that's fine. It's better for him to stay healthy rather than trying to do his best and deliver for the fans. It's always best to put health over work. So what do you think of this chapter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. If you like this and want more of this, subscribe to my channel and my world will be yours to stay. Until next time, take care.